Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to my video series covering the Ulta Love Your Skin event 2023. First of all, happy New Year's. Can you, be can you believe it's a new year? I really can't. This last year went by so fast, so fast. Many of you know the drill for this series. In case you are just stumbling upon this video, we are going to cover every single item that is in the Alta Love Your Skin event, which runs from January 1st to January 21st. Now, please know there are timestamps in the description box below. If you are interested in just a particular day in this sale, you can jump to it using those. This is the Alta Love Your Skin event. It is formatted very similarly to the 21 Days of Beauty, but it is all about skincare. Oh, could it be more perfect? I'm already a gigantic Alta fan, and this channel is primarily skincare. So the goal in this video series will be for me to share with you all of the thoughts on all of the products that I've tried in this sale. Uh, of course, as always, feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. I highly encourage that. Don't feel like you have to agree with me. You know, this is a, a skincare sale. This is probably the most challenging to find the perfect products for you. And I think that it is, you know, just really helpful for people to get different feedback on products and how they work. And hopefully this video series can just be a quick, fun overview of all of the products offered. Now, a, a few notes before we get into it. So you may have noticed this is my first time filming this series in this location. I wanted to be able to swatch products for you, kind of like we did with the best skincare of 2022 series. But I feel like I should let you know that this camera, it turns out, it turns out, and I didn't know this, but it turns out every camera has strengths and weaknesses. This one is really sharp. You will really be able to see, you know, product textures, which I think is really helpful in a skincare video. Color-wise, this camera is not the best. It's so funny because I'm actually looking at an example of that right now. This eyeshadow look today. Mm. How many of you grabbed this? The $8, the free shipping. How many of you grabbed this? I posted this deal to my Instagram account. I couldn't resist it. Wow, that is a challenging palette to work with. And really, it's very underwhelming on my eyelids. And yet, look, the, the, this camera is making it look great. Great, I don't know, that's relative, but at least bold. But look at my hands, it also, what? My hands have a slight pink tone to them, but they're not fuchsia. Point is, Color's not super accurate on this camera, but I don't think it matters. It's it's a skincare series. Let's see what else. Make sure you use Rakuten. I'll link that below. Definitely get your cash back. Hopefully Rakuten gives us some nice bonuses. Hopefully. And I think that's enough of an intro. If you do have more questions about Ulta, feel free to ask them in the comments below. Uh, I will make an updated video on the Ulta program. I have an older video for the time being. But let's get into it, because some of you know the drill. Why waste time? We are probably gonna have a long video. So, we are starting with Sunday, January 1st, and we have 50% off the IT Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream. Now, I do think that this has been uh, updated in its formula. I guess it's saying it's now a 2% peptide complex. Remember the word complex kind of means it could mean anything. But anyway, as far as an eye cream, I think that this one is overall, it's, it's nice. I personally do think it's a little bit expensive for what it is because I got into K-Beauty. And you know something funny about this one is it actually is made in Korea. When you read that, it actually it actually is made in Korea. So it sort of feels like Korean skincare with a bit of a marked up price. But again, I know a lot of people love it. And if you do, don't ever pay more than 50% off. This one is just always in sales, always. <laughs> I guess I'd say I feel like it's nice overall, but I kind of do feel like it's far from the only nice eye cream out there, if that makes sense. We also have a couple more It Cosmetics products, the Hello Results Wrinkle Reducing Daily Retinol Serum in Cream. I've only ever tried a sample of this, but it is nice. It's a, a kind of more creamy, serum. They say that this is using a blend of both encapsulated retinol, which would mean it's a slower release, as well as 
free retinol, not slow release. So hypothetically, you should be getting uh, immediate retinol into your skin once you apply this, and then as you keep it on through the night, a slower release, uh, which I think that is a good idea. The only thing is when it comes to retinol products, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I feel like I really do want to know the percentage of retinol to kind of know where I am in my own personal retinol journey. Of course, it's optional for brands if they want to disclose that or not, but it's just something that I will always like to know. My favorite retinols will always disclose the percentage. But overall, in terms of cosmetic elegance, I do think it's a nice product. Then we have one more Ape Cosmetics product, the Hello Results Baby Smooth Glycolic Acid Peel and Carrying Oil. I have not honestly gotten around to trying this one. Let me know if any of you, of course, let me know if you have longer term thoughts on any of these products. But yeah, it is a, a glycolic acid oil. So it does come in these two phases. You shake this up and then you apply that at night. Uh, I would love to know if any of you have used this. Again, I, I just have to be so cautious with all AHA products that I just haven't had the time to get around to using it. Also, have I mentioned yet the first week is the hardest video for me to film because <laughs> I haven't had a lot of time to think about these products yet to revisit them. Rough start to this series, but we're finally getting into some products I do have longer term thoughts on. So we have the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser will be in this sale. Now granted, Fresh has actually started running some pretty darn good sales. So some of you may have grabbed this in the Fresh 50% off sale. But in case you are interested in this and haven't tried it yet, this is a really, really nice cleanser. This is a very long running favorite for me because it is just such a gentle product. And you know, I think that when it comes to cleanser, I think the most important thing is to find the right cleanser that will cleanse your skin while still being as gentle as possible. And this one, oh, it's, it's so gentle. Do you all ever think back to, I, I don't know, say the 90s and how harsh we were on our skin? Does it, does, do you all remember that? We've come to realize that it is better for our skin to be much more gentle towards it. And I think that's the reason why this is essentially a cult favorite product, even though again, it doesn't feel like it deep cleanses. I think deep cleansing is overrated. Do know it smells like cucumber. Apparently people either love or hate that aspect of it. And then we also have the New Face Fix line smoothing device. Now this one has been in the sale a few times at this point. I've been tempted by it, but I've ultimately always skipped it. I like microcurrent. I actually really like microcurrent, but the catch for me with this, they say that it is made to be used around your eyes, lips, and forehead. You can just use a regular microcurrent device on your forehead. You're not going to want to get too close to your eyes regardless. Lips, eh, grande, grande pout, you know? I guess it's just that it's always felt a little redundant to me. What I do want to say with this one, though, is if you've never tried microcurrent, I don't think this is a good introduction to it because it just looks too limiting. I think it can be tempting. You know, you could be like, wait, I could spend $80 instead of you know, the zip is what, $500? But I just don't think it's really gonna give you the experience. I think it's meant to be much more of an add-on, but the reality is, I know myself with these devices, I don't think I'd ever use it. I don't think I'd use it. I would grab, I would grab my zip and use that and then look over at this and go, nah. As always, that's just my opinion, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. I also noticed a lot of people saying that one breaks or stops working. This day is busy. We also have the Strivectin SD Advanced Plus Intensive Moisturizing Concentrate for wrinkles and stretch marks. This is a product that I have purchased in the past, but I actually received this one in PR. It's one of those moisturizers that kind of feels a little bit more nourishing and yet not overly heavy. I do think it is a really good moisturizing product. All that said, I kind of think it's expensive. I mean, again, if you love it, get it in this sale. But I personally moved on from it because I like to find things that are great and don't break the bank, you know? Moving on to Monday, January 2nd, I cannot believe that Skin Iceland is back. I actually love both of these, the dissolving type, the regular sticky type, I love them. But for the entirety of 2022, these were not in any of Ulta's sales and it was bizarre because this used to be in every sale. I feel like 
Skin Iceland might have said, oh, we might, we might have to break that cycle. But the reality is what actually happened is I just quit buying them. I moved on. I figured out the uh, using a serum under much more inexpensive eye patches. So now I don't know if I'm actually going to buy these. I really don't know. 2021 Alice would have added these to her cart and been waiting for January 2nd. Meanwhile, 2023 Alice is going... I got new systems now. Nonetheless, my system does involve figuring out an eye serum, ordering the sticky patches from YesStyle. So I, I will tell you that I do like these. I think they're incredibly well done. They're loaded with peptides, so they're very smoothing. The microneedling system in particular is amazing for delivering those peptides a little bit more deep into your skin. They're great. They're great. They're just too expensive at regular price. I, I, I won't pay it. Mm -mm. We have a couple products from Clinique. I think I'm going to group these together. So we have the Smart Clinical repair wrinkle correcting creams as well as the eye cream it has been a very long time since I've tried the Clinique smart system I did like it I just pulled up the ingredients on the rich cream here and I think it's so it's so interesting to look back at this now when I tried this probably it might have been five or six years ago uh, I didn't really understand why it worked well for me. Now I can look at it and say, oh yeah, I do well with peptides. It's loaded with peptide ingredients. It has some algae in here, some caffeine, some soy. I actually, I feel like my skin really does like soybean ingredients. Uh, it, it's a nice formula. And one nice thing about Clinique is if you do have sensitive skin, they are a fragrance-free brand. One of the first, one of the OGs. All that said, do I feel the need to purchase this? Honestly, no. There are other products that I just kind of prefer at this point. But I will say, you know, they, they are nice formulas. They're nice formulas. And speaking of throwbacks, let's move on to the Tarte Knockout Collection. I don't know when Tarte expanded the Knockout Collection. I just remember the original toner, which I really loved back in the day. I'm pretty sure I included this in my favorites many years ago. This is another product that is really funny for me to return to at this point. So it features a 10% acid complex with lactic acid, the more gentle, a, a more gentle AHA, gluconolactone, a PHA ingredient, salicylic acid. It has some onion extract, which is another ingredient that I've noticed my skin does really well with. A little bit of sulfur. I feel like it adds up to make a, a surprisingly good chemical exfoliating toner for acne prone skin. That's a good selection of acids for acne prone skin. Onion is soothing, sulfur also helps with uh, with acne. So yeah, it's actually, it's a good formula. That said, it's still strong for me with my Adapalene. But what I am perplexed by is why Tarte decided to expand it. I guess, you know, I guess this was a success. I mean, I loved it. I still like it. But why did we need to come out with a cleanser, refining pads, a moisturizer, a 10% serum. Why? You know, if you ask me, this is enough. <laughs> this is enough if you are looking for chemical exfoliation. Granted, I have a more sensitive skin type and I use Adapalene. So that is something to keep in mind. Maybe some people can have an entire routine that is all <laughs> AHA ingredients, but oh, I could not. I, I could not do it. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Uh, so let's move on to the Proactive Select Starter Sets. Proactive just feels so dated to me. I don't know if they are changing their formulas or what, but I just... <sighs> Benzoyl Peroxide Cleanser and Adapalene. Scratched record over here, but that's the best system for acne, if you ask me. This week is heavy on the acne products. Moving on to Tuesday, January 3rd. So 50% off Juice Beauty select products. Every time Juice Beauty comes up, I mention that I did try this brand. It actually went better for me than I could have predicted. I feel like if I didn't already try these products, I would look at the ingredients and say it looks like it's going to be irritating for my sensitive skin type. But yeah, the brand actually... It went fine for me. All that said, they're kind of expensive. So if you love them, you know, buy them in this event. Otherwise, I, I, I moved on. I moved on from Juice Beauty. We have truly the Unicorn Fruit Body Butter, which I actually did try this. This is a very thick feeling product. It's, it's interesting. It's, it's kind of fun to use. I mean, if you like rainbows and moisturizer. 
but it actually, it feels like frosting. It feels like frosting. It's this kind of real strange thickness to it, but incredibly nourishing. I actually like it. I don't really like the Truly brand all that much. I have conflicted thoughts on the brand. I will admit I'm tempted though, just because I did, I did think this was fun. Is it a necessity? No, of course not, but it, it's fun. It smells very strongly also. The Murad Nutrient Charged Water Gel. So this is a product that is made more for, uh, I would say oily skin types. I'm kind of surprised that it's only this option instead of also having the, what's it? The Hydrodynamic Moisture Cream for dry skin, but this is the option you have. Hold on a second. This says it is $68, will be $34. Why is it then that when I click on this, it's saying $71? This inflation thing, it has got to stop, or at least we all need to get raises. Where's my raise? Where it? Anyway, the formula looks nice to me. It has some ceramide ingredients, some peptide ingredients, some postbiotic ingredients. It does have some fragrance. If that is something you are looking to avoid, be aware of that. But overall, I think it looks fine. Just, it's really expensive for a gel product. And you know, we've seen some pretty nice formulas from gel products just this past Wednesday. And then we have oh, the Kate Somerville Eradicate Acne Treatment. So I still have a backup of this because I always bought this product in this event. This is very similar to the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion, except in my opinion, it lasts longer. So I actually think your money goes a lot farther with this product. If anything, I run out of the liquid portion of this before the bottom portion of this. Yeah, that's happened. And then I just pour in some of the Mario Badescu water into the top of this. It, 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 it makes sense. I do feel like I have to be defensive of these products because they are high in alcohol, but they are not meant to be used across your entire face. They're made for acne. They are especially helpful for angry, red inflamed acne because they're using in particular the Kate Somerville. This is 10% sulfur. And again, sulfur is a great ingredient for acne. It has some salicylic acid in it as well. It really will help overnight. Overnight, your inflammation will go down. It is wonderful for that. Yes, it contains alcohol, but again, it's not covering your entire face. I think that, I feel like this is something where if you don't deal with acne or at least not severe acne, you know, I can understand saying, no, don't buy that. It's got alcohol in it. But if you know how painful acne can be, how hard it can be on your self-esteem, then you kind of understand the trade-off. You understand that if a product works, it doesn't really matter if it's going to be slightly drying to your skin because you just want to help to treat the acne. All that said, I will tell you, I don't use these products that much anymore because my system of the benzoyl peroxide cleanser my adapling and then a, a overall gentle routine. In addition to that, it's really helped me to stay a lot more clear than I used to be. So yeah, I stocked up, probably shouldn't have because I think this is going to expire soon, but it did serve me well for a very long time. Moving on to Wednesday, January 4th, this Maylee's brand is back and I just, I cannot with this brand. I can't, I cannot with this brand. Be tight, lift and firm booty mask. I, look, it's probably my psychology degree speaking here, but I just, I feel like we have so many things we have to worry about. Why are companies trying to make us feel like we have to worry about our booty? It, mm, your booty is fine. Your, your booty, it's fine. Booties come in all shapes in all sizes, sometimes they droop a little with life, but you gain life experience with that droop. I don't, it's, just, it's so tiring. Just another thing you gotta worry about. I cannot get behind this. No pun intended. I feel like what confuses me about modern times is we're supposed to be living in this era of body positivity, and yet you see products that are marketed for concerns that, why are we worried about this? You, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's, let's move on, shall we? Patchology Select Eye Gels. Uh, I've tried these in the past. The thing with Patchology is that they're kind of expensive, and I don't feel that they're better than some of the K-Beauty options that you can get year-round for the same prices in this sale. No, actually, 
kind of less, less than in this sale. If we're doing my favorite eye patches, it would be the, uh, the Skin Iceland ones that we already talked about. But you know what? I will say, I've seen a lot of people say they do love this. So if you're one of those people, feel free to comment why you enjoy the patchology so much. I just didn't, it just didn't do that much for me personally. Zit Sticka Goo Getter Surface Zit Hydro Colloid. I love hydro colloids. I think they are a wonderful option for whiteheads in particular. I'll, I'll bring this up again. It's been a while since I mentioned this. The Kate Somerville for angry red irritated pimples and uh, any kind of hydro colloid for whiteheads. Also know though, the peach slices patches, in my opinion, work just as well. Kinship Super Mellow Hyaluronic Gel Cream Moisturizer. I, I, I might grab this, $13. I can't believe I haven't tried this. I actually do like the Kinship brand. I think they have great price points. I mean, you're gonna get a moisturizer for $13 in this sale. I just haven't tried this one specifically, but maybe I'll grab it. Maybe this will be the sale where I finally grab it. We have a couple moisturizers from Pure, a brand that frankly I'm surprised is still around. Sorry, maybe I shouldn't say things like that, but I, I am, I'm surprised. So I actually received this in PR. This is the four in one cloud cream, which is one of the two options on this day. It's kind of interesting. I don't know if I like the packaging. One thing I've noticed with it is sometimes it seems like it kind of opens itself. It just kind of is loose when I go to grab it. But I will confess it's a very interesting texture. I think if you're one of those people who doesn't like the feel of moisturizer, you might really like this. They say obviously it's gel to water. So watch how, watch how this just disappears. Gel to water. To the credit of this product, I will say it's a pretty unique formula. The Get A Lift, I have tried the Get A Lift in the past. It's a little bit more heavy, more ideal for my skin type, but honestly not, not super stand out to me. This one at least does stand out, uh, but I don't think I'll repurchase either of them. And I don't know, I don't know. The packaging, it's cute, but I don't think it's all that practical. It also kind of falls over. And then we have the Michael Todd Beauty Select Sonoclear Petite Patented Antimicrobial Facial Sonic Skin Cleansing Brush. Or it looks like the Clarisonic. A few things with this one. First of all, I want to make sure to say, keep in mind that with some products in the 21 Days of Beauty, you may get the product for 50% off, but you may have to purchase refills or replacement brush heads in this case and you may not be able to catch those on sale. It's almost kind of a smart marketing strategy for brands to have these products where you'll have to buy replacements. Because sure, you got the deal, but now you gotta keep coming back to the brand. That's the first thing I wanna say about this. The second thing is we've, we're have we well past the era of the Clarisonic versus Foreo debate. Uh, I think it's safe to say Foreo won that in the end. <laughs> I do think that the brushes feel a little bit more harsh in comparison to the Foreo, and also you don't have to keep repurchasing brush heads with the Foreo, so nice advantage there. Uh, that said, I know there are some people that still loved the Clarisonic, and I guess this might be a really nice replacement system if, if you did enjoy that. Personally, I'll pass, and to be honest with you, I don't even use my Foreos every day. I like them, I actually, I actually did use mine this morning, but I don't use them every single day. I think it's it's optional. It's very optional. I think the real strength with those kind of tools is if you are somebody who doesn't really like to cleanse, I feel like you might cleanse too quickly. Whereas a tool like the Clarisonic Foreo or Michael Todd, I guess, uh, it could keep you, you know, cleansing a little bit longer and a little bit more thoroughly. I think that's always been the benefit of those. Thursday, January 5th, y'all, the Shiseido Benefiance Wrinkle Smoothing Eye Cream. This was in, I think, my last empties video, and I said I couldn't believe that I actually really enjoyed it. I have another mini here so I can show you the texture. Yeah, I actually thought this was a lot more expensive than it is, too. 32 in this sale. Personally, I would pick this over the It Cosmetics if you're just looking for an eye cream in this sale. Please note, this is not fragrance-free, but... I don't know. I, I never really liked Shiseido because their fragrance blend doesn't work on the rest of my face, but it did work on my eye area, and I really enjoyed this eye cream. I really did. I'm going to take a look at the ingredients here. Huh, so this is actually pretty high in mineral oil and petrolatum. I do feel like, you know, people either love or hate those ingredients, but 
I think that's part of the magic of La Mer because it certainly isn't the crystals or whatever La Mer does. I don't, I don't know, that's not my world. Quite a few of those algae ingredients, some peptide ingredients. Not a clean formula, if that is something that you are looking to avoid, but I gotta tell you, that that's a very smoothing eye cream. I think it's very well done. La Acetane Shea Butter Hand Cream. Very disappointed in this brand for going the MLM route. What, you know, I was re-watching that scene from American Psycho, you, you know the one. Did you know he's using La Acetane products? How the mighty have fallen. We also have the Glam Glow Glow Starter Mega Illuminating Moisturizer, so, can still show you this one. I actually wore this yesterday, and I will say, it's pretty on. It kind of is more of an illuminating primer in the way it looks on your skin. Definitely gives you a glow. But this is the kind of fragrance that I just actually don't like. Typically, you know, I, I'm not gonna be somebody who says fragrance bad, fragrance good. I, I, I don't care. If you like it, use it. If not, avoid it. But I actually don't like the fragrance in this. It smells, it smells like putting your face in a birthday cake. It's just too much. It's way too much in my, in my personal opinion. I'm sure there's someone out there who actually really loves that smell, but just too, I don't want my face to smell like birthday cake. Friday, January 6th, a date that now is a little rough for us Americans. Bobbi Brown Hydrating Face Cream. So this is, actually also a really nice moisturizer. I did a Bobbi Brown trial again years ago and it went well. The Bobbi Brown brand, I like both their skincare and their makeup, which is kind of rare. All that said, it's still an expensive brand. Uh, for $33, I don't think I'll repurchase it at this point. I just kind of have a lot of other favorites, but I did like it. I, I did like this product back when I tried it. First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I recently got these as part of one of their holiday sets. This is essentially toner on pads. So, you know, make sure you're not buying both of these. You don't want to overdo chemical exfoliation, at least, again, in my opinion, as we talked about in the Tarte Knockout section. I think one thing that's strange to me, I did notice that, did they always have these citrus ingredients in these? This has lemon, it has orange, and it's the extracts, not the essential oils, but it's still surprising to me, largely because I remember so well when First Aid Beauty was, you know, one of the brands for sensitive skin. It's, it's an odd choice. I'm really not, I'm not sure what to make of it. Anyway, they're fine. I don't use a lot of products like this. I prefer to use toners, and as you've seen in other videos for me, I like the reusable cotton rounds. But do they work? Yes, I think they're a little bit uh, more gentle than the Tarte product I showed earlier. Moving on to the Bosha, we have two products here, the Makeup Breakup Cleansing Oil and the Purifying Cleansing Gel. I actually really liked their cleansing oil. Uh, it's kind of a little bit more thick. It's a little bit more of a, of a heavyweight kind of oil. Bosch is a Japanese brand, and actually, their makeup breakup oil kind of reminds me more of the DHC. Slightly less heavy, but more on the heavy side than some cleansing oils. It's a good option for removing makeup, removing sunscreen. Uh, it does have some essential oil ingredients and it also does have menthol. So do know that if you know that your skin is fine with that, especially in the cleansing step, it may work out for you as well. But otherwise, if you have real sensitive skin, be, be aware of that. <laughs> and Herborian is included, the CC Cream and the CC Red Correct. I have thought about buying this so many times, but I feel like every time I look at the shade options, I just feel like it's not gonna work for me. I feel like it's not because the Fair to Light has pink undertones and I'm more grayish green, but probably red on this camera. I don't know if the, the medium to olive skin tones would work though, because I don't have medium skin. I, I, I just always end up talking myself out of this one, but I'm interested in it because I've heard so many people say this is actually really nice. That's just that bizarrely limited shade range where they have, you know, a, a light, a medium, and a deep, but only for one undertone? Why? Our last day for week number one, Saturday, January 7th. So we have the Clinique Moisture Surge. This is the one ounce size in the sale. This is actually the, the 1.7 ounce size here. This will be $13.50. I feel like, has everyone had a chance to try this? Because I just feel like 
Clinique gives out so many gifts with purchase of this product in particular. This is absolutely made with oily skin types in mind. It is made to be more of a hydrating moisturizer. It's so light you can't even see it. You can't even get more. So yeah, another one of these lightweight moisturizer options, and it really does feel very hydrating. I have to give it that. Uh, you know, it's not gonna be an absolute favorite for me as someone with dry skin, but it does its job. The ingredients look fine overall. Some fermented ingredients, some hyaluronic acid, some green tea. Green tea, an ingredient you often see in products for oily skin types. Oh, some birch extract. Interesting. I don't understand why there is dye in this. I, I just, I really don't. In a brand that is supposed to be all about sensitive skin types, fragrance-free, why, why does this have red dye in it? What purpose does that fulfill when we know that red and yellow dyes can, for some people, be irritants? It, it's a very similar situation to fragrance. It's gonna work out for a lot of people, but I think that the reason I get stuck on the dyes thing is because with fragrance, I can understand why people might want pleasant smelling skincare. I don't understand who, who is wanting red dye in your skincare products. Why? And I knew I was gonna get some people wondering about this next one. So, the Beauty Bio Get That Glow Glow Pro Facial Microneedling Discovery Set. This will be $100 in this sale, but like I said earlier with the Michael Todd device, keep in mind that if you buy this set at 50% off, you will have to buy replacement heads for that derma roller. And those are not 50% off, don't know if they ever will be. They're also kind of really expensive. They're, they're really, it's an expensive derma roller system. Oh, where to start with this one? I do think that microneedling is a potentially very effective system. Again, I think it is best for hyperpigmentation. That is the main thing that I have seen it help with. But you gotta know that it is, it's a risky system, especially with a derma roller like this. It is a system where you take a risk every time you use it. You can minimize that risk by using something like isopropyl alcohol actually all over your skin before you use this, using it on the tool as well. Uh, this bi Beauty Bio system is not based in alcohol. They have a, an essential oil blend prep pads that they want you to use. I think isopropyl is a much better option if you are, are insistent on using a derma roller. It's a fraction of the price and better for sanitization purposes. But again, you know, keep in mind, you're only ever sanitizing. You're only ever sanitizing, you're not sterilizing. But I have one more thing to add with this system. So it is a, a, a vibrating derma roller. That's the idea behind why this is that much more expensive than most derma rollers. It also has an LED light on it. I don't know if rolling an LED across your skin is really gonna give you the same benefits as an LED mask. I, I'm, I'm skeptical of that, but I will admit to you, again, I haven't tried this, but I actually got the face gym version in PR. This is not a derma roller system, but it is a uh, vibrating microneedling system. I think that if I hadn't tried that, I would probably come on camera and say, is it not a bad idea to have a vibrating Derma roller, what, like, why? Why would you want that? That seems like it's just gonna add extra pain to microneedling, which is not the most comfortable thing in all of existence. But again, I've tried this, I've tried this, so I've tried vibrating microneedling, and uh, I don't know how to tell you all this, but it's actually, it's kind of enjoyable. This whole idea of vibrating tools, you know, you see it all the time. Foreo is always talking about their T-Sonic vibrations, for example. But there's not really a lot of peer-reviewed evidence suggesting this is really doing that much more. I really just think these, these vibrating tools are just kind of fun. <sighs> Thanks for that. Thank you. Thank you for that. I'm gonna try to condense my thoughts here. What I really think with this one is don't just add this to your cart because it's 50% off. I would say with this, really make sure you put in the thought with this one. Do you want to make sure that you are doing the best you can at making sure you're doing this microneedling as safely as possible? I, again, really think, especially with the derma roller type, you do need to use isopropyl for safety purposes. 
Keep in mind, you'll have to replace the heads. And uh, as for the LED, I'm very skeptical of it being, uh, you know, a, an LED tool that will give the same results as a mask because with the masks, you leave them on for a minimum of three minutes each light on different spots of your face. So you'd have to really hold this in place for a, a long time. Could it be worth it for some people? Maybe, but just, you know, be careful. Be careful with microneedling. I'm a believer in it. We're talking about needles. We are talking about real needles. <laughs> but for as hesitant as I was with that last one, calm down, Cal calm down, Alice. Coaster X Advanced Nail 96 Mucin Power Essence is back. This sold out so fast last time, so be first in line if you're planning on grabbing it in this sale. This is a wonderful product. It is absolutely incredible for any kind of irritation. It is incredible for hydrating your skin. It is still an absolute favorite for me, if you can't tell. Again, keep in mind, it's possible to be allergic to snail mucin. Doesn't work for everybody, but if it works for you, you might just love it. I think that's why this is such a, a hyped product. And in all fairness, it will be $12.50 in this sale. I think this is really the time to grab it if you are an American who's been on the fence about this. Buy it from Ulta because Ulta has that 60 day return policy if it doesn't work out for you. But if you decide to keep buying it, you might wanna look into the K-Beauty retailers. You can usually find it for about this price. And then last, and I still haven't tried these, the Avene Tolerance Control Skin Recovery Cream and Balm. Let me know in the comments below if you've tried these. I know a lot of people really like the Avene brand, so interested to read your thoughts. We are actually not done because I do have to mention the hot buys. I have missed hot buys. They're not called hot buys. They're called the weekly wellness deals in this event, but they're essentially hot buys. <sighs> Can we please have this stay? Can we have this stay, Alta? This helps so much if you're doing a points redemption, doesn't it? So for this week, we have supplements and ingestibles, and I'll just put them all up on the screen for you. Now I will say overall, eh, <laughs> on the selection here, I don't like Sugar Bear at all. I think they are a way overpriced brand. Same with Teamy Blends. I do like Ollie though. I do like Ollie. The product that I am absolutely repurchasing is the Glowing Skin Collagen Gummy Supplement. I like that for the hyaluronic acid at 120 milligrams in this product, which is the level that has been studied in the primary research. And my friends, that brings us to the end of the Ulta Love Your Skin event, week number one. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Let me know if you are gonna be picking anything up in this sale, if the later weeks grab your interest a bit more. Again, happy New Year's. I hope everyone has a wonderful New Year's and a wonderful upcoming week. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have a wonderful week and I will see you all next time.